Okay, guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video going over the lack of Halloween events in these horror ASIM games. So, of course, Dead by Daylight is getting one. Uh, Ghostbusters is actually getting one tomorrow as well, which I'm actually feeling like checking it out because, you know, I haven't played Ghostbusters yet and it might be a good time to get on board with the game and just have a quick uh, go of it and see what that's like. Uh, but, you know, games like Fortnite, not horror-based, but uh, they have their Fortnite Mares event. They've got fucking Michael Myers dropping in there. Overwatch 2 has also got a Halloween event going on right now. Pokemon Go, um, like I said, Dead by Daylight, Destiny 2, Apex Legends, Disney Dreamlight Valley has also got a Halloween event going on right now. Uh, Lost Ark, Monster Bash, New World, Call of Duty Warzone 2, World of Tanks, and of course Ghostbusters. And here we are, we are playing and covering horror ASIM games, primarily recently, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and no word of a Halloween event. And it's very sad because, you know, you've just released the game a couple of months ago and, you know, you think, oh, how can we keep the hype train going around this game? How do we just grind that hype wave into keeping the player base and keeping a lot of players intrigued? Um, hey, Halloween's coming up. Let's drop something for Halloween for the game. And while that might be true, they are actually looking to be gearing up to dropping some cosmetics. We don't know because we're in middle of October right now, toward, like coming towards the end of October, and all we've got is a coming soon release date, uh, which is very unfortunate. But then we go back to last year. Evil Dead the game had just come out um, in you know a few, a few months before uh, Halloween dropped, and all we got in that was a trick-or-treat outfit for Warrior Ash <laughs> and with a little jack-o'-lantern. So, I mean, at least it was Halloween-themed, but, I mean, from what we've seen with Texas Chainsaw Massacre so far, um, that doesn't seem to be the case. But I just want to point something out to you real quick. So, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Evil Dead, you instantly know that's a horror movie, that's a horror game, yeah? Evil Dead, probably one of the most popular in the horror niche, including Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They are literally like genre-defying movies here and franchises, yet they seem to be lacking in terms of their video game counterparts here where they can't actually get a simple Halloween event thrown in there. And yes, I know everyone says, let's let the devs get on with what they're doing. You know, the games just come out, you know, games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, blah, blah, blah. They've had years to... Uh, be expansive and be creative in, in reducing this. However, you know, if, if I feel like newer games should be already on top of this. But you know, we shouldn't have to wait two years for them to pull their fucking finger out their asses and be like, hey, maybe we should put a Halloween event in our horror game. Maybe now's the time. That shouldn't be the case. The games have just come out, okay? So yeah, they should have a solid attack plan after launch. And like I said, two months... This should this should should have been thought about before the game even come out, and it feels like it hasn't. But um, you know, looking at it, Evil Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they are IP games. However, if Ghostbusters is getting one, Texas, you know, it's only one IP. Texas Chainsaw is only one IP. Why the hell is Texas Chainsaw not getting one? Like, where where's our Halloween events, man? Where are they? And they keep player retention in every damn time. You know, I'm not a big fan of fucking Dead by Daylight, but you know, I want to check out the new Halloween event. Uh, you know, same goes with Fortnite. Even Call of Duty's getting Ash Williams in there. A lot of people have, you know, from the Evil Dead community side of things on my channel, uh, are checking out Call of Duty because Ash Williams is being added to that in, in their, you know, Halloween event. And it's absolutely baffling me how all these games that aren't actually horror games are getting Halloween events in them. When we have actual horror live service games, if you want to call them live service games, not getting these events. And, you know, what comes with a Halloween event? Uh, you know, a little battle pass, you know, some cos cool cosmetics featured around or themed around Halloween, you know, fun little objectives to implement into your gameplay to make you feel like you're actually participating in something, participating with the community and having a lot of fun doing that. And that's what these games are missing. And it's, it's very frightening. <laughs> it's very frightening, to be honest, to see where this genre is going. But uh, yeah, last year, Evil Dead didn't get one. Huge disappointment. Texas Chainsaw this year isn't getting one. But yeah, we may may or may not be getting some content. Who knows? It's coming soon, right? I think I might have found the answer to our concerns here. And is that maybe we're all just spoiled. That's all it is. Maybe we're just spoiled babies. You know, we're paying $40 for our video games. And we're expecting, you know, a multiplayer game. That is horror based to get a Halloween event. I suppose that's too much to ask for lately. Um, but honestly, guys, I, I really don't know what's going on. I really don't. It, it's baffling to me. Like I said, if I have a Halloween event, you know, getting loads of people involved, it's really a lot of fun on a lot of games. Uh, you know, getting battle passes in there, like little mini events going on, you know, little unlockables, things like that that you can get into your, 
gameplay and on your profile and something unique to say oh i participated in the halloween event in 2023 on that video game you know um it's very sad and honestly i want to hear your guys thoughts on this as well um uh, it's a, i think it's a massive concern i think it's something that should be brought up more often in the community around asim games especially you know fresh asim games uh, like texas chainsaw massacre you know it is a big asim game and it's a multiplayer game we're expecting some live service content like that um, but again, we're not really getting it, unfortunately. Also got another question for you guys to leave down below. What event are you participating in this Halloween? Are you going to be playing Fortnite to get Michael Myers? Are you going to be playing the new Call of Duty to play some Ash Williams? Please let me know down below. I'm really intrigued to see what people are playing. Um, right now, I'm not really participating in any. I've checked out Dead by Daylight a little bit. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'm probably going to look at Ghostbusters uh, event and see what's going on there. Because I'm intrigued to at least try that game out as bad as it could be. At least it'll be some fun checking something new out. Um, but yeah, it's very sad. I would, I really wish I could be checking out a new uh, Halloween event on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I just hope to God, somewhere, if there's an ASIM game in development, a Stranger Things one, a Nightmare on Elm Street one, whoever's making it, I really hope they're doing their fucking homework and coming out with a solid attack plan, post-launch content, you know, that's going to have all these events, that's going to have battle passes and all that good stuff to go along with it. And um, Because, you know, I'm a sucker for that stuff. I love skins, I love battle passes, I love having a grind in my game that I can enjoy. And I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. I know a lot of people are sort of against that, you know, missing out battle passes and stuff, you're missing out on content. It's totally understandable. I see both sides of the coin here, but, um, you know, for me personally, I really enjoy doing that type of stuff and it doesn't hurt for my channel to have some new content to put out there uh, you know checking out these events and stuff but uh, like i said leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think of the situation and what you guys are going to be playing over the halloween period and uh, thank you guys so much for watching hit that sub button if you're new to the channel i do stream a lot of horror asim games on this channel so you don't have to go anywhere else for that and if you enjoy more videos like this just little discussion videos feel free to hit that like button as well i do appreciate it and uh, thank you guys so much for watching i've been pixels you my awesome viewers i catch you guys in the next one